Hello, what's up Birches? Welcome to the very first video on the Warhanam channel. My name is Ian and I have one very important question for you. When was the last time you looked at a tree? And I mean really, really looked. Over the last year I've taken my daughter on a lot of walks, and I mean a lot of walks, to get her to sleep. And as well as listening to some music or a podcast to take my mind off the utter chaos of having a toddler, it's been a great chance to look at nature, and particularly thinking about trees as I was painting my Fangorn army at the time. I can only imagine I appeared a bit like Treebeard to any confused onlookers, carting around a small person and getting all poetic about bark. If you were to ask 10 people on the street what colour they thought tree bark was, I imagine 9 of them would say brown. But if you take a closer look you soon realise that isn't the case at all. Even the trees we think are brown are actually also made up of greys, greens, oranges, yellows and anything in between. There's loads of great tree based miniatures out there, from Sylvaneth to uh, Blood Bowl Tree Men and of course the Ents from Middle Earth. And I think sometimes our natural inclination is to just think tree equals brown. And that was a real challenge to me. So with that rather entish ramble out of the way, today we're going to explore painting a bark effect from one of my favourite and one of the most visually striking trees that can be used to nice effect on your tree-ish troops. It is of course the silver birch. I'm going to be applying the birch effect to a citadel middle earth ent. This big fella was actually a rescue miniature which I saved from becoming fuel for the fires of Isengard. We're going to start by base coating the entire model in Rakarth flesh, so grab a big old nasty brush and get painting. Obviously if you've got access to an airbrush, you'll have time to paint, make a cuppa, and then maybe the rest of us brush peasants will have caught you up. Rakarth flesh just gives us a really nice uh, organic greyish tone uh, that we want for our pale bark to go on top of. And of course we want a nice coverage so it's going to take multiple thin layers. So here he is after his first coat of Rakarth flesh. Uh, it's looking a little bit streaky but we're kind of getting an idea of the tone we're going for. So we're going to give him another layer and see how we get on. Ok so now we've got that nice solid base coat done, we're going to start bringing out some of the detail of the model. We're going to use Pallid Witch Flesh from Citadel and we're going to dry brush the entire model. As you do this apply pressure as you push downwards, this will make sure you hit the top edges of the bark. So as you can see it's really starting to come to life now. We've brought out those raised edges and those high points using Pallid Witch Flesh. Now we're going to focus on some of the deeper details and we're going to bring those out with a wash. We're going to mix two parts of Lamian Medium with one part of Agrax Earthshade and apply this over the entire model. Don't be afraid to just slap it on, but as you do, go round and make sure none of the areas have pooled. So that all over shade has really toned down the dry brushing and kind of reduced that powdery effect a little bit. What we're going to do now is spend a bit more time on those recesses and start thinking about the actual striation marks on the birch tree. We're going to be mixing one part of Dryad Bark and one part of Eshin Grey. Although Dryad Bark is already quite a greyish brown, we want to really push that grey level up. So we're going to dilute our mix a little bit with water and dribble it into those recesses and creases where the tree underneath would show through the kind of white papery bark on the birch tree. Now this model has got loads of those already moulded onto it. If your model is a little bit flatter on detail, you can paint these on yourself. I'm actually going to paint some more lines on here anyway, just to kind of really build up that effect. Now 
Okay, he's starting to look like a nice, handsome, stripy birch tree now. Okay, we're going to carry on using that mixture a little bit more though, because in all my time staring at trees, one of the observations I made with birches is that near the bottom, where they actually grow into the ground, uh, it gets a kind of darker, browner tone. So we're going to actually apply that now on our end here. We're going to water it down and kind of use it as a glaze. Now we're going to take a couple of layers of this just to really build up the colour and it getting stronger as we go down. So our rent now has a lovely pair of earthy boots, the tone of which is getting stronger as it goes towards the ground. We're going to use pallid witch flesh to do a sort of stripy highlighting. We're going to focus this towards the edges of the bark, but also in those areas where we've painted our grey-brown mix, particularly going under those lines which will help it really pop out and give that 3D effect. As well as those areas I've just mentioned, I'm also going to use pallid witch flesh to do some striping on the flatter areas of bark, and this will just really help to add some texture. That's the step which probably takes the longest, but as you can see it's really coming together now. Next up, I'm going to just push that effect a bit further by doing another stripy highlight, this time using some pure white. I'm going to focus this highlight again towards the kind of edges of the bark, but also on the more raised areas. So there we go, the white highlight is now done. And actually, you could call it job done there. But for me, I'm not sure if it really shows on the camera, but it's quite a stark highlight at this point. So I am just going to tone it down a little bit using a mixture of three parts Lamy and Medium and one part Agrax Earthshade. Now this actually darkened the colour a little bit more than I'd hoped for, but you know, these things happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my pure white, this time I'm going to water it down a little bit more and just bring in those striped highlights again just to add that paler colour back on. And there we go. He's looking a bit brighter and happier now. So that's the technique I use to get that silver birch look. But obviously it won't really come to life until you start adding all those weathering techniques, sponging on some nice greens and browns and all sorts of things that you would find on those trees. It's those touches which will really make your tree as a whole look organic and be able to walk across the tabletop and stomp on orcs. I've just included a few extra glamour shots here which hopefully showcase that stripy highlighting a little bit more.
a massive thank you for watching. This has obviously been my uh, first dip of the toe into painting videos so I'd love any constructive feedback that you have to offer and if you found any of it useful or anything I could improve of course. Um, if you'd like to follow me over on Twitter it's at Warhanum and Instagram is, you guessed it, Warhanum. Thanks once again. Bye.